Hello and welcome to Joe Teaches Al Dwarf Fortress. I am Joe. I am Al. That feels more normal. This is Dwarf Fortress. It is. That we're looking at on the screen. This is our, I gotta say, last last Let's Play, which wasn't too long ago for us. That was a little disorienting coming in uh, after the, because we had recorded two, and in my mind those were the fort. And then we, I guess we scrambled, was it Friday morning? Yeah. Something had gone wrong there? And that fort did not stick in my head. This This fort... So it was a little weird. Uh, I thought I knew what was happening. We can happening. hear you, Joe. Smooth tiles are beautiful, by the way. I'm liking that, yeah. Oh, did I mention that, by In the this way? this tile set. He's just practicing. I just set him to smooth this whole area just, just because. That way he'll get a little skilled up. I mean, you say practicing, but he's actually doing it. Yes, but I don't care about this. Okay. <laughs> I guess the temple... Whoa, look at the temple! Apparently a 3x3 three three is not the biggest of temples. <laughs> huh. I don't know. Uh, yeah, you should have built it bigger, Joe. Yes. A veteran Dwarf Fortress player like yourself should know to designate more space. Of course, I should have. We are going to... I also messed this up. This is a little janky. These, I don't think it's hard to tell exactly where the workshops are with this tile set is one thing I'm learning. But these are all set off two, and then the kitchen's only set off one. That's going to drive some people nuts. But we have a cook. We have a kitchen. We can start him on this, which is always good. And... Also, that door to the right, not in the center of the wall. No, that I knew I was doing. <laughs> but you didn't put it up against the very edge. No. No. I, I sometimes... Well, okay, so sometimes I do it like this, where it's leading right to the workshop, but then I was like, but that's okay. going down, and I don't want to dig the hallway, and so in my head I was like, I'll just do one, that'll be... Whoa! That'll be fine. Uh, you know, and I was like... And then you misplaced the workshops. Then I misplaced the workshops. A total amateur. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's just absolute amateur hour. Uh, and my temple's tiny. Oh, it's a little less crowded now. I do want to set up some... Uh, you know what? We'll do that in the manager. This sneaky sneaker in the manager. Rock pots. We've got lots of booze and lots of food, and that is a must. Uh, all right. Also, do you see anything in the stockpile that needs attending? Real quick. There's a couple things, uh, actually. A bunch of statues. Yeah, statues are starting by Michelangelo. to... They are uh, a little more sp space intensive than I, I realized. That's fine. Uh, something else that jumps out at me here is, uh, you know, my beds aren't built. But what is about in this area, in this area? I don't know, the caged uh, animals that we got from the yes, people last time. Yes, yes, yes. It's usually good to actually get them out. Have we done this before? Made a pasture? Uh, uncaged animals. Oh, I don't know. Once or twice. Anyway, you build the cage. You can build it anywhere, actually. We did it when we were making the uh, troglodyte arena. Yes, that's right. Uh, that was that that world kind of got a little bit erased, but the video survived. Oh, that world go went bye bye. Remember that was the uh, the save that didn't get saved. Oh yeah. And when we put back, it was, um, not. We had the different. We noticed the different th mm -hmmm. things, like the people bypassed the. But we fort still went through with. The, did we not go through with the troglodyte arena in the second one? No, that I actually forget. Because oh. it showed up in the video, and we just figured it was good enough the first right, time. Right. Um, actually, we might not have. I think this is riveting for the listeners. To yes, listen you to can us just our own videos. <laughs> <laughs> just go. Whoops! Just go through on this menu and tell them where to put. And apparently, one was already out. Two were out. What's happening? Not a little. Not yeah, sure what's going on there. I'll be honest. I only bought one cow and one one bull and one alpaca, right? But I wound up with two bulls and an alpaca, three bulls and an alpaca. I'm gonna say, admit that I was not paying rapt attention to exactly what it was that you were buying that's, when you that's bought the stuff. Shameful, shameful. So, <laughs> call yourself a dwarf fortresser. Oh, I like adventure it like mode. We got some mud going on. Ooh. I do like adventure mode. <laughs> that's that's really, the truth. We're, we might. Uh, we're, we're in discussions about possibly working that in. However, did you uh, ever go and find that magma? Oh, we're not even close to that. No, we're, we okay. got to slaughter the thing. Remember, that was the whole yes. All of this yes. Oops, somewhere we're gonna go. Animals. Now we can slaughter something, get its delicious bones, and have bones to make our. I actually forget what it's called already, but we're gonna kill a bowl. Okay. It was a pan flute analog. I do enjoy this with bone. What are the rope-looking things? Let's find out. Whip vines. Apparently that's a good eating. So they're rip, rope type things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, do you have your kitchen actually making meals yet? Yep. 
He's also sleeping in it, <laughs> which reminds me. <laughs> You're going to build some bedrooms. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. Now, what I like to do is record. I built a 3x3, three three, and then that, and then that, and then a 3x3. Three three. And then you got to get back up and then to you reset. your start. And then stop recording. That's Control R. Save as. You make it look so easy, Joe. And then load. I don't have any other ones. Good. And control. All this is control R to record. Control S to save it when you're done recording. Control L to choose which macro's up. I only have the one. And then hopefully. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're fancy. Ten. With macros that don't go Sli completely wrong. Slightly uh, less, yes, yeah, spastic than some of Al's macroing. Uh, you know, it takes a little. I, my, you make it look easy, Joe. My I'm just saying. Initial macros were not very good. I have learned from my many mistakes. Uh, getting back to start point is was definitely something that had to be drilled in my head as the bedrooms would go. And I just be like, oh, uh, oh, someone's been. They slaughtered. can't see what you're say what you're doing with your hands or whatever, but I totally know well, what you're doing. Hopefully, you can see my arrow. Right, I've been pointing with my arrow. I could. I did not. It was moving too quickly for me to notice. Uh, the stray yak ball. It's a little thing on a big screen, and I didn't understand that that was what you were doing. Yes. Um, also, I see that you have Cortana at the bottom saying she, you can ask her anything. Yes, I can. Except where my freaking Minecraft <laughs> <laughs> screenshots are. That was a little mind-boggling. Um, so, yeah, Michelangelo. I want Michelangelo. I think it's weird that search has become a, like such a big part of our lives now. Yeah. It's interesting to me how often I search for things. I would never have searched before, before before like I don't worry about finding files anymore where I mean I've, I've tried to put them in the right folder but a lot of times I've just type in what I want to find oh I mean many many times then the start menu on Windows 8.1 I just pull up the start menu and start typing the thing it may already be on the start menu but typing in the thing is faster than going and f trying to remember where I put it unless it's something I use all the time it was a keggle right it's Google's fault yes what I'm making our instrument. You're making keggle bells? I'm making keggle bells. <laughs> Is that... Uh, how would you pronounce okay. it? No, I... Yes. Yes. We'll tell you when, when you're you doing keggle exercises? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're going to play the keggle bells in the temple. That's okay. where I usually practice keggles. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> also... Hmm. Okay. How do you think that the uh, random generation of words works in this world? I mean, it's got to be oops. something like vowel, then sound, Ooh, then vowel. Cogamel. Some of the names, uh, you know, are not the easiest in the world to pronounce. There does well, have yes, to be. Okay, even, here's a good one. I mean, here's you don't a good have, one. See, you don't... see my uh, arrow? Right. That's, there's definitely not. I mean, this is one, two, three. That's only three consonants. You're right. One, two, three consonants. One, two, no, three consonants. No, it's four consonants. Stag, shill, stin, thad. Uh, one, two, three. No, where? Stag, shill, thin, stin, thad. Where, are three, where are three? Not syllables. Consonants. Oh, consonants? Cons as in A, I, O, and U? That, those are vowels. I'm confused then. What are the co oh, consonants in a row. Yes. Yes. That was okay. an interesting moment there. You had me completely com completely been, convinced I was saying the wrong word and was sounding like a complete jackass. <laughs> it's in the ro in the row part. See also the previous Let's Play where I totally shamed him for forgetting <laughs> what, he, what I had read to him and I it was not <laughs> Joseph that was yes. wrong in that instance. So, as you were saying, and I, I should have said I picked up pretty quickly because I wondered that too, do they have like, it must be vowel, 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 uh, consonant, consonant. Like, there's got to be something like that. So I came in here and I thought, well, maybe we can find a bunch of consonants in a row. I don't know if you ever see more than well, three. Okay, but you get so G is A G, and then S H would be a second sound. So oh, you think SH, it goes things phonically? like S H will be together, S T would be together. Oh, I see. T H would be together because those. Uh, so all of your combination things occur Ostricard. together. Um, but I would assume that the combinations for the names is different than like your instruments and stuff because the instruments take a different pattern than the names do. I do have to say, 
I mean, you can look at these names and you may not be able to know what they are, but you can tell these are dwarf names. Can I also say I've never in my history of playing Dwarf Fortress ever met a dwarf man named Eurist? True. I think that might have been an earlier iteration and they've expanded possibly before this whole random name generation thing started. I have to also have to say that one guy's meditating on rulership, which I find cool. <laughs> and look, a little a kid's playing make-believe. Oh, no way. Yeah. So one of the things that uh, we read about in the previous the goddamn farm. Uh, episode was a guy looking at people's biographies and histories. Can you do that in the fort mode as well? Uh, I mean, there's a file somewhere, I think, possibly. Uh, I don't know how to do it. Because uh, that was what, adventure mode? Except the world generates yes. biography, I think. Uh, but I think he said he modded, added some mod in. Maybe he just did this. View. I and mean, you can see the relationships. Mother, father, the deities they worship, who he's on friendly terms with. I didn't see the uh, that he mentioned a mod. I thought he mentioned a mod. I think he said he did some. He tweaked something. We may be talking about a different. I mean, the the one I the read. Vampire? I didn't see him. Yeah. yeah. No, I thought he said. Well, I mean, would this could be it too? This goes back a season. Right. That's not. Yeah. She's a member of the godly sex. This is so weird. Also, this font is pretty difficult to read. I don't know. I don't know how to find history. I know. Uh, there's also a mod. Okay. You know what? Yes, I do. I take that back entirely. Here in the lazy dude pack, we can go to utilities and it is, I think, mm, DF story maker. Creates a filtered version of the game log. Okay, no. <laughs> Dwarf Realms, Minecraft level. Wow, that's kind of cool. Dwarf mock-up? I haven't even heard of this one. Wait, what? What is that? Minecraft level? Something? Go back? <laughs> Dwarf in Realms creates a Minecraft level from exported world maps. Oh. Yeah. We need to do that. And we need to take toy around with uh, one of these viewers at some point. Possibly Legends is the mod he's talking about. Uh, I think maybe that lets you dig around in the world, sort of. It's making uh, custom worlds. Picture Fort is using blueprints. Quick Fort is some along those world lines. I believe in here I have seen, heard talk of a you know turning one of these on and then being able to really dig around in people's bios. So I think that's okay. it. I do not think we have it. We just have that brief one-page thing. While I'm here, yep, he stopped. Great. Do we not have? So apparently, biographies are you can be written in books. Okay. That's new, though. When we have our. Obviously, because. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I followed the link and I was just reading about biography, but it took me to uh, the main wiki. So <laughs> I was reading. It said the. Uh, um. One of the earliest biographers was, biographers was Plutarch in his Parallel Lives, published about 80 AD. <laughs> I, was, I knew that wasn't right <laughs> for Dwarf Fortress. You were just on Wikipedia? <laughs> <laughs> I was on... <laughs> it appears that biographies are books. <laughs> I don't know if you knew that. Well, they write them on this stuff called paper. Oh my god. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's I learned I learned all kinds of stuff today. <laughs> I was gonna say like I thought it was like one of the in jokes that they put in the wiki and there was like a dwarven Plutarch that had they made up a wow. Albert, that's uh <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize they had went links out to the regular wiki. <laughs> I'm finding building finally building beds. Ugh. That should make some people happy. I think the dwarves have been sleeping on floors and in the temple for a while. Mm -mm -mm. You know, I also don't have his rock doors. You can't pluralize that in this menu. Always strange. And then my miners are hard at work, except if Michelangelo is going to keep making statues, and, and Michelangelo is going to keep making statues, he needs a much bigger location to store his statues. So we'll have statue storage back here. Do 
It's totally, totally, <laughs> totally worth it. <sighs> what is that going to be? <laughs> I looked over and I was trying to find out what biographies were going to be. <laughs> I'm Googling biographies and you have a child. What is that story? Her I'm statues? learning. So for those, <laughs> those who are, I don't know who would be jumping in now, but if you are new, we did like 25, six episodes where Al was in control of the fort and I was sort of color commentary and, and coaching. And we've swapped now, which has caused some interesting new uh, wrinkles and patterns to develop. One of which is I'm noticing Al <laughs> will get involved in an article and I can do things. If I talk sort of monotone, and then he he comes back and has no idea what's happening. <laughs> but, yes, that's going to be for Michelangelo's statue storage. Because, <sighs> they, I mean, they're can one... Can you designate one, a, one of those quantum dump things for only a specific type of thing? I don't know if you can, but you can only designate certain things. You can, okay, you can turn them on and off. So I can make a dump over here, have that one be on... That have whoop, bloop, 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 bloop. where'd you go? Where is it? Oh, have this one a if you hit a it toggles active inactive, right? And then I could while the other one's active, I could choose the statues to be dumped, and they would only only the statues would wind up there. Oh, okay. Uh, I kind of want to see this room full of statues though. Not gonna no, not gonna fine. lie. <laughs> that would be awesome. Boop boop boop. it up. Okay. So, this is one of the few areas where I definitely do a dump, even though it's probably not. Alright, or I'll... <laughs> or I'll move the cursor around a bunch and not actually do the dump, but there comes the dump. Also, now that we have something real, I'm going to remove the designation of smoothing up here and get those bedrooms smoothed. It is sort of worth it. I mean, worth it is depending on how you value things, but... So, if I smooth all this, uh, those slots with the beds in them, I believe will never be smoothed and never be engraved, which is fine. But if you're really wanting to make sure the entire room is smooth, you have to do it before you even put beds in. However, people are sleeping all over the place, so I'm going to Also, put the for beds complete down. newbies who are wondering why you would care to do that, it makes the dwarfs happy. Oh, yeah. And increases the value and happiness of your fort. Is good. And it just looks nice as well, I must say. I'm really curious to see what in, uh, engraved stuff looks like on this tile set. Also, Mr. Berg, uh, you know, if you see me doing something, it's obviously not something that obvious, but I tend to do, do, <laughs> do my auto routines pretty quickly. I'm a fast typer. Definitely call out if something's happening too quick. You're not sure what I just did. I'll, I'll try to. I am watching the screen right now. I'm not reading other Apparently stuff. I, hit, I, could, I could not... Hunt down the biography thing. <laughs> I'm sure one of our wonderful listeners will uh, be able to point out to us how we would get to that if we were wanted to. Uh, it may well be a mod, and I just misread that thing. Now, do I... Because the, the, ke <laughs> the keggles are done. <laughs> All right, so you need to build a, uh, a box in the, uh, in the temple for them to go in. That was a box. What? A keggle case or a bo what's a box? I never made a, built a box. Well, it, uh, how was it labeled in the? It wasn't. A, it, there was a, a subcategory called boxes, and then for if it was stone, it was a coffer. Okay, so that's either a chest or a. Okay, I know what that is. I don't okay. have any, but I know what that is. I assume we can build them out of stone. Um, yes, I've got pots. Okay. Um. Yeah, so you can build a glass, you can out of box, it's, or out of glass, it's called a box, out of stone, it's called a coffer, out of wood or metal, it's a chest, and a cloth or leather box is called a bag. Yes, that gets really confusing, because you can't put sand into a coffer, but you can put sand into a bag. I think we've covered this. I feel like I've said this before. It's a little like... Yes. Well, burr, burr. But I, I, what, what I'm saying is, it seemed like that that's what it wanted for the instruments oh, yeah. to no, be stored I'm in. One. I'm making one rather than just a bin, which I think we made the mistake in our last fort that we had built a bin in the tavern, but did not have one of these coffers. Oh, because we were well, trying so we, to figure out how to assemble the thing, right, or figure out what the right. And we just kind of once we saw that it was assembled, we were like, "Yay, we win!" I mean, it is possible but that if some had, of them are. But if you want them to be able to use in that the temple. in that. Temple, I, I guess they can carry it around, but it's I generally see. better to have it sitting there so that they can 
pick it up. Gotcha. When they want it. Okay, now we're getting into some living space stuff, which is... Again, the kitchen fired off a whole thing down here. I don't usually get this involved this early. I would have gone dorm first and then maybe a couple bedrooms, but because the kitchen went full on, I decided to do this full on. Here's a little dining hall, but we're going to have more fun with dining halls. So in my previous fort, I did not have a good separation between workspace and <laughs> living space. It was uh, it was literally your your second fort. And the first fort did yes. not live too long, so really it was your first outing in a lot of things. Uh, and you certainly, when you first play, you're just like, I oh, just put that down, just put that down. I want this here. Let's see what's next. Uh, instead of sort of planning as much. But it was pretty funny. I enjoyed myself. <laughs> what is chert? Is that a rock? It looks like it, yeah. Would you like me to That's look it up? <laughs> yes, that would be nice. I don't know how interested you were. I'm now pretty interested because if it's, I guess it's not sand. Chert is a brown stone found in sedimentary layers. It is magma safe, but otherwise unremarkable. Chert, in real life, chert occurs. This is not in regular Wikipedia, by the way. But it's <laughs> happened in real life. So chert occurs Woo! as oval to irregular nodules in limestone chalk and dolomite foundate formations. A specific high quality type of chert known as flint is used for stone tools as it chips with sharp edges. <laughs> I did not know that. I didn't know Flint was a type of another rock. I also did not know that. So I saw... We don't have it, of course. Uh, this is one of the things that's really sort of annoying to me. I want to cut rough gems, get my gem cutters working, get all this stuff, but you wind up with tons of different types of cut gems. So I have to go in and say, cut praise until you run out of praise, and I cut funky quartz until you run out of that, and blah, 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 blah. There is a DV... I always call it DV hack. I don't know why. In DF hack, there is a way to just say cut rough gems. Cut all the rough gems you have, which is really nice. But we don't have that. So put that on repeat. Put that on repeat. Whoa. Put that on repeat. 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 Put, well, we're cutting shirt. By Whatever. the way, a quick Google of DB hack uh, brings up the fact that uh, DB stands for database. Database hack. So I don't know why Joe has been hacking people's databases. I just can't help myself. Time, but <laughs> I just. Are you a white hat hacker or a black hat hacker uh, of databases, Joe? I, uh, I'm a, I don't know what the difference is. I'll be honest. <laughs> Not... White is good. Black is bad. Well, that's a little one-sided, Albert. Yes. I didn't make up the designation. <laughs> I like to think there can be good black hatters. Um, what's a good hacker? Well, the black hat people are more cool because they're on the edge of the law. Well, what's a white? What's a good hacker? They don't care about the man. A good hacker Batman. is someone who, for instance, would look for uh, <laughs> security uh, breaches oh. in something and then tell the company, "Hey, you've got some problems here." Uh, like uh, Robert Redford in Sneakers. I guess I've never played. I've never seen that movie. Good but. little movie. Fun little caper movie. I was going to do something. I don't remember what it was. Uh, you can also hack things. I mean, hacking is sort of a really broad term and doesn't mean much anymore, except for that it sounds cool. I like that. The, I I don't I don't know if anybody saw that, but there's a cat that just ran into the temple, ran around a circle, and, <laughs> guy and then ran down the hall <laughs> to this other room down here below our sto uh, storehouse. <laughs> But yeah, hacking can be basically programming stuff. Um, if you want to say I'm a hacker, basically it's just sort of casual programming. I always do that. Stuff and things. <sighs> what do you always do? I always try and type rock before I've gotten into the new order thing where the search function is. And in this screen, R oh, okay. removes <laughs> jobs. Not a good so thing. I always wind up, and then I have no idea what the job was that I removed, because that's the one thing that does not have an announcement. Rock, rock throne is what I want. Rock throne? I hope that I'm not on a uh, search list somewhere for yes, searching DB on hack. About. <laughs> oh, the Google search, I mean. Due to the NSA. Like what they're praying to. Pray to the, yeah, la what was it, lavender something? I couldn't read that fast The enough. Enko's liv Livid Paddle. Play to Enko's Livid Paddle, the <laughs> lavender rapidity. It's one of the gods. And this guy's green, oh, because he's green? No. I like that the authority of idols is a god. Authority of idols. Oh, I am the king of all of these little things. You shall worship me. <laughs> so what's your, uh, what's your next plan for, what, where are you going with the fort I'm now, literally Joe? trying to remember what I canceled. <laughs> from the job menu. 
and I'm not remembering. Oh, it might have been doors. I'm going to uh, polish this up. We've got some tables and chairs coming for the dining area up here. Throw the rest of the beds down, make them into actual... Whoops, no, we don't have more beds. I thought I made more beds. Maybe that's what I... Maybe that's what you canceled. It's very possible. It's entirely possible. Uh, not to... If you're not ready for this, that's fine, but uh, you did mention that you were planning on going looking for magma at some oh, point. Yeah. But don't you want a nice, clean... Oh, yeah. Well, no, my miners are busy building... For sure. Michelangelo's statue... thing. That's more important. Aces. What is the other thing they say in, uh... In the butcher's workshop, the butcher's place. In what? Oh yeah. <laughs> is it? Oh yeah. When he's um, in the book, the in season two. Yes. Uh, they all no, say I know together? what you're saying. It's like the end of the day, and they just keep uh, shoot. It's not. No, oh it's yeah, not, but it's sure. something like that. Sure. No. For those of you who haven't seen Fargo, by the way, great. So you're starting two. Huh? Great TV series. Oh, two is yes. so good. Just I made a stupid mistake though. I watched, so I downloaded it onto my DVR because it's available. Like I didn't record them as they were airing, but it's available with my cable uh, subscription to have as a on-demand mm -hmm. thing. You know, in case you missed it, which is a little bit annoying because you can't fast forward a rewind yes. or anything. It just sits there. But um, so I downloaded, and somehow I accidentally watched episode two before episode mm -hmm. one. A little confused. Uh, I I don't. I, I, sort of. No, I just thought, oh man, this is like really kicking off right at the beginning. <laughs> Everything's just starting. This is great. I like I convinced myself that that's how it was supposed to be. And my wife was like, I'm confused. And I was like, no, this is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> this is, look at how he doesn't even <laughs> wait for you. <laughs> Avant-garde. <laughs> I love when that happens. Um, And it turned out it wasn't. Uh, it was it was not it's brilliant not, so much as I was not dumb. daring documentary filmmaking. It was just <laughs> <sighs> yeah, oh. the the whole look of that. Um, the opening episode really does like kick you in the butt with its look. Yeah. It's starting out with that Indian in the black and white. Yes, and that's the, right. That weird movie uh, that they have. And, and, yeah, introducing the idea that Ronald Reagan is a part of this universe as an actor, and also that he's like what our setting is, and then kind of attacking the fourth wall just a little bit by having the guys who are laying dead in the background sitting up and being like, and I get cold out it's here. Set, though. Cause are waiting for the actors to show up. That is a filming of a set, which is a weird thing in and of itself. Boy, that tempo no, I know, is not... but that show Fargo does this thing where it's not breaking the fourth wall, but it just leans up against it a little bit in a way. It feels like it's aware of its showness. It aware, it's aware that it is a show, and it's not afraid to tip your hat just a little, a little bit. bit. One that. thing they definitely did in season two was, if not every episode, uh, at least a lot of episodes, will have a quote, a very familiar quote from a Coen Brothers movie in it. it just worked in naturally, and it's really kind of yeah. Oh, it's really? Funny. I haven't noticed. Maybe that. it starts off later than I didn't. I, yeah. I, I, or maybe I'm just not very observant. Well, I mean, there were that's also possible. Like, lodged in my the first one I saw, I was like, wait a minute, that's directly. If it's a uh, from Fargo, we're going. Well, we're going. I mean, if it was, it all. T if it ties the room together, like I would yeah, notice that. I'm not sure if that actually popped up, but that might have happened before I started noticing. I don't know. It's it's just a fun little minor Easter egg that almost again almost is like this is a show, but then does it. I I don't know. It's just very well done. I like the themed stuff too that kind of keeps occurring in season one. It's the fish up until the thing happens with the fish that I won't spoil. Um, and in season two, it seems like that there's a lot of sort of nods to. Uh, Conspiracy theories in general, and alien Ufos. stuff in particular. Yeah. Um, anyway, back to Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> the, yeah, you stopped the action. I, I was just vamping while you were letting the thing run. Fair enough. Uh, so container, remember all those things we listed? Those are uh -huh. all containers, just to add another word to the mix. Okay. So if you've got coffers, uh, bags, or chests, those are your containers. So we're going to build our thing in the thing. Apparently I have a lot of bags. I didn't know that. Build your thing in the so thing. So, we're building our coffer in the temple. Right. And then I'm kind of relying on you to figure out how to get the instrument to do its thing. Okay. Uh, we'll look that up. The coffer's been built. Oh, maybe I... Okay, actually, hang on. Maybe I hit... I was going to say, I would try queuing over it to start with. Well, no, here's our temple. Instruments desired... Okay. Five. Okay. This is not as helpful as I was hoping it would be. Are we going to change this? Oh, okay. You'll take five. 
You might all they might also just put it in there automatically. That's true. Like the hospital does definitely does that. So we'll go back and we'll see if they've added any more. That being said, how five? Can I build uh, how many yak bones does it take to? I don't know. We could always start branching out into different instruments. I can't. Some of those are really really difficult. It's the mason. I think it's the craft store workshop, <laughs> but I could be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> such a weird opening to that episode it was like in lava it was just what's happening oh Albert's like literally just telling me something and then like five seconds later you're like no that's not it you were like I'm drinking a soda now and I was like how's that soda <laughs> the trick is to sound and you're, and you're just like what soda I'm not drinking a soda it's, it's a non it was just so weird <sighs> spring has arrived I feel like there's no snow here we have a nice nice biome Snow can be useful, though. I Freezing mean, for trying everything. If you want to, for water uh, stuff. For sort of like, let's dig in and try all the other weird stuff that we can. The only thing, again, I'm missing is sand. And I guess I could poke around on that farm layer. However, they have dug Michelangelo's statue farm. So after this saves, I'm going to go dig down. Okay. Now you remember how far you had to go to get to the magma sea. Do you remember how far you had to go to get the magazine? I do not. We found it. It was a long yes. way. It was way far it down. It is way far down. <laughs> Still, you know, I looked around at a number of different things. Still no idea what this whole mysterious cavern on level whatever it was all about. Odds are that's going to hit a cavern before it gets all the way down. But we'll let it go and see what happens. Let it go! <laughs> Let it go. Wow. Oh, we got a. This is an old meme anyway. A... We did get a. Yeah, we got a migration wave I there. That. Um. By the way, uh, one of the things that your temple can also use is dancers. Yes. And since we have a fair amount of. Man, this font is getting a little wacky on me. Fair amount of labor, as has just been announced. Let's see what we have with our new group. First off, anyone from the old fort, because that was really interesting. Uh, something that I you taught me to do that I have not seen you do oh, yeah. yet is to sort by military and kills and make sure we don't have any vampires. Well, have you seen the effects Doesn't of the vampire look like we yet? do. Because that would no. be kind of fun in and of itself. The actual fun, dwarf fortress fun. It's not the end of the world. We just wind up with a vampire. It's kind of a... Another, it... Is there, does it just turn other people into vampires? I can tell you. If if one shows okay. up, I I would absolutely just leave it. I think, just so you could see what happens. Was that guy level ten at woodcrafting? Wood cutting. Wood cutting. Oh, you don't you don't need that. Uh, I mean, you don't care for that. Who cares? Yeah, literally. Honestly, it doesn't improve the quality. It's just the speed, and it's not like I'm sitting here ever going like, "Come on, cut down that tree." Speaking of quotes from Coen Brothers movies, does anybody in the uh, in Fargo season two say, "Would that it would that it were so simple"? <laughs> what? Have you not seen the new trailer for Hail oh, Caesar? Oh, no, I have not. Oh, it's so great. It's just this guy like with this really thick, like, southern accent. And the director's this British man. Uh, and he's trying to teach him to say... The, the line is, would the detour so simple? So it starts out with the lady asking him something, and he says, would the detour so simple? <laughs> and then the rest of the trailer is the director just saying to him, would the detour so simple? And him saying, would the detour so simple? Was it a torso so simple? <laughs> and like getting it That's wrong. That's gotta be so. Well, I've. It, <laughs> over and over. you're the director and trying to do that on set at that point, you're pretty much SOL. Because one of the other things I noticed. <laughs> well, the punchline, which I'm totally gonna spoil here because I love it. <laughs> the punchline, you get to the very end of the trailer and you see him watching the movie with his girlfriend or whatever, and he comes into the uh, living room or whatever and sits down on the couch next to the lady and he says, It's complicated. <laughs> What? Who's what? That kills me. <laughs> who? What? The character who couldn't get the wood that it was this simple right. The punchline is that he never did, and they just told him to say it's complicated. Oh, I thought he was watching. Okay, we gotta teach you how to tell stories about stories at some point, because I thought he watching the movie turned to someone and said it's complicated, which doesn't no. make any sense. <laughs> 
Also, if you'll note, I'm starting to take my... <laughs> he just makes this great sound in the back of his throat before he first says it, too. He's like... Oh, no, it's a bite bone Why is that a tourist? That's simple. You guys gotta watch it. I don't know if I'm gonna like the movie. I have a hit and miss weird relationship with Coen Brothers movies. Uh, where I... No, you're just a gem setter. I, I, they're probably the the best example I can think of. of mo- like, I look at their movies and I know that they're good, but sometimes I don't like them. And I think people think that everything that you like must be good and everything that is good must be likable and that is not the case i like lots of bad movies and i dislike some good movies is this are you vamping now is this vamping Mm -hmm. okay i I mean i'm i'm sorry (laughs) did you want to talk i'm doing stuff and what you're doing you're i don't you're uh undesignating these guys and making your new your original seven uh less work yes that and specializing them, as you said that yes. you would. I'm just checking over labors real quick. Well, now I don't have anything to say. You said it way much faster than I would have said. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to point out that these guys start to become like, you know, the, the high on the hog sort of. Yeah. Are you going to give them the, are you going to designate them to the nicer bedrooms when the, the bedrooms get carved? Yeah, we got to look into that, don't I? First, first. Well, we're working on the smoothing. <laughs> Let's. Have you designated your statuary? I'm doing that now. I've, I have no idea where to find statues in here, to be honest. Uh, it should be finished goods, uh, right? Yeah, there's a thing. Finished goods. Cork. Oh, they... <laughs> Would be under stone? Yeah, but it's just stone goods. Oh, well, never mind then. You're right. Oh, here we go. Okay, here it is. Types. I remember that being a problem. I think... I might be wrong. Type might be new, to be honest. I forbid all of them and well, just nice. allow... Let's see if we can find stat. Ooh, large gems. I'm kind of thinking this is new. I think there was no way to be able to do this before. Well, yeah. That's handy. You had to like only chains. Yeah, there's. I don't I think I've ever seen chains in Dwarf Fortress. I don't yeah, see the of statues. I don't see statues. I see crowns. There's I don't figurines. know how to make crowns, but that's in there. Isn't it? Wait, no. You said it was. Ow, oh, Albert. You said it too. I did, but it, I don't. I'm looking at the list and I'm not seeing it. Furniture. Yes. There we go. Still don't see it, but okay. Statue. There it is. I found it. <laughs> it's right there on the screen, Joe. Click on it. There you go. <laughs> this is where statues go. And we'll... I mean, they won't... I don't think they'll move them if they're sitting, but we'll try and get them to move the statues out of... We won't put any more statues into this other thing. So Michelangelo can just make statues. But I think if they're already in place like this, they're not going to... In other words... Removing a designation from a stockpile doesn't kick things out of it. It just stops things from going into right. it. Which is a little annoying. Are you going to start building statues? Like, it, uh, as far as putting them in your fort? In Eventually. But as long as I've got this this whole thing going on, I'm going to let them, you know, get a little better. I don't know that they derive pleasure from just them being in the stockpile. I, I wonder how that beautiful? works if they see them in the I, stockpile. Well, that's a good question. Do they get the same happy hit that they do if it's built? That's an interesting question. Because from our perspective... Either way, it's just yeah, sitting it's just there. A statue. You still see the statue. I guess you don't have the the space to view it in. Kind of would be an argument you could make. Um, whereas if you place it, you definitely have like a viewing in mind. But that's a good question. I don't know what the dwarves do. However, that's not of import. Okay, so I have. I still don't have any instruments in my thing. I have a box. But no instruments. All right. And I built the instrument, right? Did I build the instrument? Did you? I legitimately don't remember. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You can go to stocks and I find out. Know. It's a keggle. We'll do this. I remember that. I make a Newton. And that's what it was, a Newton. Oh, what yes. am I making all these keggles for? Seven adjacent conical bone pipes. What's this? Why am I making keggle cases? Because you wanted to assemble them into a kegel bell or kegel <laughs> yeah, but what? thing? What? When did that? What? I got all confused. I got confused. You're. I yes. I did not. I I I saw you doing that, and I didn't like. It didn't catch in my brain that that's not what you wanted to do. I just assumed that you wanted to make a kegel of, sometime down the road, and that the Newton thing was. <laughs> or you'd already done the Newton <laughs> this or something. Is so confusing. What? What do I make Newtons out of? You already have the Newton. Like, you have to make it, like, assemble it. Right. Like it, you make it out of bone. 
We slaughtered the thing to make to get the bone, okay, right? So did I also just waste some bone on the kegels for no good reason? I think I did. Was that a thing that took bone? I, I don't know. I looked like one was off of the list. So it's possible. Okay. Well, you may have. Try. It's available to make, so there should be enough bone. Oh, the Newton is, not the Newton parts. The kegels the are. The Newton doesn't have parts. You just assemble it together into... It's not like the kegel where you have to make the case and the... Yeah, you do, because we have to make the things out of bone. It has individual parts, but it doesn't require multiple levels of assembly oh, like really? the kegel. Yeah. That's why we're doing that, because it's easier. Well, that's much different. Well, I don't know what I did with the bone, then. I completely went off into La La Land. I think I made kegels with the bone. Did you make a Newton? Is it making the Newton? I don't know what's going on now. I just see you cycling through menus. I have no idea. There is a Newton being made, yes. It is in the craft okay. store workshop. And we have the, the parts for some kegels. Because apparently that's something that my brain needed to do without asking yes. me. <laughs> we, I remember we had a long discussion about kegels and that was funny because of kegel <laughs> exercises and <laughs> it never dawned on me that that was not actually what you wanted to build <laughs> <laughs> Woo! ladies and gentlemen <laughs> alright well I'm going to slaughter another reindeer and try and get those five Okay. Right, slaughter a reindeer Wait, so you there. haven't slaughtered a reindeer yet? I slaughtered a buffalo bull I don't know okay. where that guy came so from Wait, that was you also did I know you went into the kitchen menu and slaughtered something. I was paying attention that much. <laughs> but we don't have any other reindeer things, so I'm definitely doing that. Here's my alpaca. Okay. All right, so we'll get some more bones from this reindeer, and then th stuff will happen. Yes. Also... Stuff will happen. <laughs> <laughs> this guy had stopped, so we want that back. Oh, the joys of that. Ah! Drink. Drink. Is that? Happened. Are you up for no reason, or are there new? Uh... An elven caravan has arrived in the trees. Apparently, oh, way over here on the left, down on the bottom. Have we been chopping down trees? Are they going to be pissed at us? No, nah, I don't think we've done too many. Okay, I'm a failure. That elf aggravation. <laughs> Clear it all, trader, and then <laughs> I guess we'll sell them some statues. <laughs> 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 if we can find them because then we get into this again no but there's the uh, there's the search thing remember oh right 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 select wait yes. no I have to go to yeah. the wall ah <laughs> I don't know if you're aware of this but talking and doing dwarf fortress and thinking about dwarf fortress is kind of confusing okay now I don't want this one but I want all of these uh, yeah, leave the statue of the muscle I do That's want important. the statue of the muscles we're keeping that, but now we've got one. The ale turd? Dude, <laughs> it's not ale turd. It is the tile set going a little crazy. Not this one. We're not selling that one. Do you think that's in the random generation thing, too? That it just stops the uh, um, the creation of actual words? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we got, what, boot teach? I guess that's a well, no, that Well, no, that could be... Yeah. The com I'm, I'm saying... Yeah, I know what you're saying. Uh, it's very possible. It's certainly possible. I don't see why it wouldn't. So you don't I'm interested in the mechanics here. So you don't, have, you don't I, have, like, hamburgers no. as, like, a build or, like, a dwarf right, name. yeah. Because like... that would be jarring yes. if you had... Yeah. Especially if it wasn't related to food or something. Yep. If it randomly generated hamburger as an instrument. Yeah. Yes, that's probably something they looked through. Or, I mean, we never really... Really pieced together the whole how that worked. What did we decide? They did it in. You, th you think they did it in five? You think they have a list of like ish osh, sounds? Ink, onk? Yeah, I think they have a list of sounds. Uh, they would also have probably uh, vowels that go together, so o o and o u and uh, things that make a sound in English, and that they combine those uh, basically at random. Very interesting. I I can't see them going through and uh That's clay, not sand. So I'm looking for sand. I'm really hoping we have sand. We have to trade for it if we don't, but I'm kinda hoping somewhere in this mishmash there might be some sand up in the upper levels. Um I mean how you know, how big do you make that list though? That'd be gigantic. An endless list of things. It's better that can't than a, a list of all the possible words. 
I mean, there can't be, there aren't that many sounds. Right. And there aren't that many letters that combine together. To, I mean, I mean, there's only 26 letters in the alphabet. So you start with that. You start with spoilers. your vowels and your things. What? I <laughs> said spoilers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> If you haven't gotten well, you to the start end of with the that, and then you yet. add on things like NK and commonly used vowels that go together, and uh, it wouldn't be, I mean, it's going to be a big list, but not beyond the realm of possibility, considering everything else Dwarf Fortress does, like creating entire histories of the world. See this kid? Yeah. He's got something? Yeah. Is he playing make believe? I don't know. How do I find his inventory again? It says play make believe on the green, but I don't know. He, trying to see what he has. Yes. What does he have? I don't know. What are you carrying, little kid? He's carrying it around, or he's blinking for some reason. I'm very curious. Owned objects ten. I searched carry and I got two results for backpack and one for rodent man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't usually think much, his, his thoughts. <laughs> he is only four years old. Gee, she is only four years old. Well, now I want to know what this, th what this kid's carrying around while he's playing make-believe. There's a floor under him, which is a little weird <laughs> because, well, yeah, it's got to be in his inventory, but its inventory just has clothes, so I'm not sure what's happening there. Right? Because I go to... He's imagining the thing in his hand. <laughs> Okay, treasure, 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 toga, cap, glove, glove, sock, sock, shock, shoe. Come on, pal. What are you doing here? Are you, uh... Child does as it pleases. I've actually never seen that before. Are you wounded? No. <laughs> are you trying to General command him to do something? General play, dabbling grower, enter view activity? This organizational I activity branches the other specific day play events. Interesting. That related uh, to Dwarf Fortress. Because it took place before the 1400s. Really? And that was the first vending machine was invented before the 1400s. It's actually in the BC era. You inserted a coin and it dispensed holy water. Hmm. How did that so, work? So uh, when do we get our Coke machines into our fortress, Joe? Pretty awesome. That's what I want. When do we get a vending machine that dispenses hooch? <laughs> That'd be awesome. I'm, I, I mean, guess we don't have coins yet, so a vending machine you can, wouldn't you work. You can smelt coins, I think. I want to say you can do that. Yeah, yeah, because it's blocks and coins. Or in the stockpile somewhere, there's... I've seen coins somewhere as a possibility. The thing is, they have... The, the value is a little weird. It would be... I'm hoping they have an economy that just sort of... Goes free. Did you designate the, sto the statue stockpile? Because I don't see any statues in there yet. Yeah. You've discovered a expanse of cavern deep underground. So I have. Where Isn't am I? Isn't that exciting? <laughs> I mean, woo! Uh, what level are we at, by the way? Is this level 10? 51. <laughs> oh, darn. Or 98. Well, dig up at the top. You'll find that level 10 one Ooh, for sure. Wait, I've got silk here. I like that. Nice. Is this a accessible cavern? Or is this one of the ones that is more up and down than side this to side? This looks pretty flat. I gotta be honest. That that whole stretch here? Yeah, very, you're right. Very flat. Okay. Um, let's, okay, so one thing that's interesting that you actually read about... Once you breach the cavern, your insides start sprouting plants. That's what I've read, yes. Which is really interesting it to me. It can. If it's... You have to have soil. Yeah. That's interesting to for me. For that to happen. We don't want this, Doug. Oh, you don't? I mean, it's going to just go into... Do I? Oh, oh, that's underneath there. I can't I can't see what you're doing Z-level-wise. Right. So Check. I wasn't sure where these things were in connection to each other. Well, we're going to try and get around the cavern. I do have to undesignate this, so this is sort of silly to go this far down. But, go back up to the cavern. Let's do the caverns again. Is that... Nobody ever talks about the fact that's a song about getting blackout drunk. Time warp again. Well, that's your interpretation of it. It totally is! That It's not an interpretation. It's... Even the Alvin and the Chipmunks version talks about it. That, it's really disturbing. That's really odd. <laughs> Why are Alvin and the Chipmunks getting blackout drunk? I don't know. I mean, outside of the normal reasons. <laughs> because they're, they're 
They're in terrible movies. Chip Munch <laughs> wrote Chip. <laughs> oh, that makes me laugh. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how best to make sure this is sewn up tight. I think I'm going to put a floor here. Can't do it. It's blocked. It is blocked by up down stairs. Uh, I always get into trouble doing this. All right, so if I just do downstairs, if I just dig out a door, if I just dig out downstairs here, they'll be able to climb down, dig that out, climb down, and make a floor there. And that shouldn't puncture through to this level, because I don't want any flying baddies coming up. Okay, here are the lyrics to Time Warp. <laughs> I remember doing the Time Warp, drinking those moments when the blackness would hit me and the void would be calling. Okay. You can't tell me that that guy is not getting so drunk that he lost track of time. I mean, I could tell you, but you'd argue against me. It says it in the song! <laughs> uh, where's a good spot? Now I'm trying to go through the cavern. That said, the Calvin and the Chipmunks version of that song is really fun. <laughs> what? what? Where, and what? Where? Why do they sing that? Because they sing all kinds of popular songs. Okay, but what, usually That's they have some sort of in for the song. I, I, I don't know. I didn't see it in context. I just looked it up on YouTube. Oh, I thought you've seen the movie. I have, but they just have. Have you ever just listened to the soundtrack to their movies? No. Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> why would I do that? They just have songs on there. Like occasionally they'll have a little bit of a song in the movie, but then in the soundtrack they'll have the whole song just played out. Okay. I like Alvin the Chipmunks. This <laughs> is a little weird. I didn't like the movies that much, but I owned the album for the first uh the album for the first movie and that was a fun listen for me with my kids. Back in the day. But it had nothing had it. to do with anything. Usually I'm saying there's usually some context for the Alvin and the Chipmunk songs. From what I have seen from some of the stuff I've seen in the movies. Occasionally there is. I mean, but they sing uh, Take You to Funky Town just so they can just so they can demonstrate the fact that they can sing to Dave. Oh. In the first movie. Well, that changes everything. That's, yeah, it's not like there's some deeper meaning like, oh man, the fact that they sung Funky Town totally recontextualized the <laughs> it was not like that all right they just pop into song because they're chipmunks and they're in a musical yeah, but, uh, all right uh, joe was digging down to find the magma by the way i'm wanna, digging uh, around somebody's the confused about what's happening on screen <laughs> mad at me for yes. talking about alvin and the chipmunks you tend to stray a little a little off point from dwarf fortress when you're not sitting at the controls i do well, I'm, you were, are usually telling me what to do. Yeah, I'd be so asking you for direction, that's but that's not what's happening you're supposed here. To be, you're, you should be questioning what I'm doing. I, I could tell what you were doing. I thought every, that was fairly obvious. Man, your stone smoother is going so slow. I know. But he's getting better. Let's see where he's at. A little bit by a little bit. Very little bit by very little bit. He's at four. Hooray! All right, my gem cutter. Ugh, these are terrible. How is... Michelangelo? Yes. Ah, he's at 10. That's, that's good. Not... That's max, right? Or no, you can go higher than 10. 20 is max. Um, but as you said... I haven't seen any masterpiece... Uh, what do you call it? I haven't seen any statues yet. getting moved around either. Well, I don't uh, either. They got moved out of the that? stockpile, so that's good. Um, He might be hauling, to be honest. Oh, there he is. Is that him? Yeah, he's here constructing a rock statue. And then... I know. He's been doing that for a while, though, right? Why Let's isn't double he... Double check, double check, double check. Statues. Yeah. I mean, I'm assuming that lets you have statues there, right? I think so. I would also think so. It's possible everyone's busy hauling other stuff as well. we got a lot of hauls on. So they're just piling up in the workshop? In the, the workshop. workshop. We're going to yes. have a cluttered workshop? You can actually get tea to go see that. we got all kinds of stuff in here. Oh, mimosos. Oh, yeah, there are a bunch of uh, statues. Mountain brands. You are right. And my doors. Not had any doors placed yet. Put a door, temp, door on the temple. We want a door on the temple? Yeah, we'll put a door on the temple. Also, <laughs> see if this madness has happened yet. Yes. All right, do you think we'll have... We have one! We have an instrument in the temple! 
Woo! Let's do the time warp again. So we didn't tell them to do that. That happened automatically. That did happen automatically. Once we build it. You can nice. go in and say, my instrument, make Newton. Come, he's going to make, make go, them Newtons. Go, go, four more maybe out of those, that reindeer bone? As long as I'm not. I don't know, man. The reindeer is pretty big. It's pretty big. We don't know exactly. I don't know how it counts. Dwarf Fortress. Dwarf Fortress. Dwarf Fortress. Dwarf Fortress. You talk again. Mm hmm. <laughs> I don't know how Dwarf Fortress calculates how much bone is in an animal. Well, luckily this time around, I'm not arbitrarily making other instruments out of them. So that <laughs> should help. I'm going to look up bone and see what uh, the wiki says. What? Oh, what's happening? Hello? Who are you? What's happening? What did I do? Some migrants have arrived. Oh, we have elves here. Hello, elves. That's right. I dragged a bunch of statues over here. I should probably do something with them. Hmm. Shift enter. Oh, this is interesting. Mark all goods for trade. Stockpiles with refuse enabled automatically degrade some items quite quickly. Refuse should not be enabled in multi-purpose stockpile. Hmm. So the refuse stockpile actually causes stuff to rot faster. That's a composter. I did not know that. So here I thought it was just a place you put stuff. Are the... It actually affects the way it's treated. I'm going to buy some... Actually, I don't know what these are. I don't want stupid elven. Never mind. Never mind. Look at this. This is all they bring. <laughs> a wood, this is a bunch of wood? A wood boot. <laughs> a reed glove. Is it really a wood boot? A coconut palm left gauntlet. Is, what is wrong with these people? I don't know. This is a, what, what am I going to buy? Some olives? I have olives. I'll buy some olives. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for your olives. I have a hemp loin cloth. <laughs> oh, a melody pipe. Yeah, I don't want elf instruments in my... No, that's not happening. What? No? I, like, I kind of like that. Okay, fine. No. Nope. Um, I, 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 I like. I looked up bo bo uh, bones, and yeah, I was not able to find out how it determines how many bones are in an animal yet. Mm -hmm. But down at the bottom of the wiki in the bugs section, it says dwarves will not. <laughs> this is listed as a bug now. Dwarves will not butcher corpses or skeletons of sentient creatures. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a bug. <laughs> That's listed as a bug. That's not a bug. Well, I cite it. Never, never heard anyone approach that as a bug. Also, check out what's happening here also, in the sandy part. This is the legitimate. What is happening? We're getting fungus and moss in the sandy part. Oh, nice. Yeah. It also says dwarves uh, or butchered bone stacks from hostile creatures cause a seeing a blank die thoughts. Yes. A what? Seeing something die. Yes. So, for instance, uh, horrified after seeing whatever die. Yes. Which actually seems like it could be really useful because seeing things die helps your dwarves become hardened against death, right? I believe they start to tick up on discipline if that happens. So you could create like a death room, like a haunted house, and just keep running through the haunted house over and over again. Until they're just completely without feeling? Yes, until they're utterly desensitized to all violence. Maybe we'll try that. That would be fun. I don't think we're going to do that this time, though, Joe. No. Probably not. We are running a little bit late on our time. Are we? Yeah, we're an hour. Okay. Hmm. Did we get anything done? We bought some olives. <laughs> we found a cavern. Found cavern. Got some bedrooms done. We uh, got one instrument in the temple. True. I do want to mark this as a hot spot. And hopefully that is not... Whoa, that's skirting the edge very closely. But we made it through cavern number... I would say cavern number one, but apparently there's this mystery cavern at floor 10. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to keep bringing that up, guys. Yes. We have not gotten tired of bringing that up. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, Nor have we gotten tired of built making these Let's Plays. So we will see you next time <laughs> with another episode of Joe Teaches Al Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. Like and subscribe and comment uh, with as much information as you can give us. What is that guy in nine? Why did that nine go across the screen? Where? What? When? Who? He Where? Went, there, a nine just went up into our fort. What? The number ah, nine. Ah. There he goes again. What is he Don't doing? Know. How do I? Where happened? Where's he going? He went down the ramp. There he is over there. All right. He's storing an item. Okay. Let's see if this works this time. Inventory. A mountain goat corpse. Hauled. That's a G, okay. not a nine. Goat corpse. Whatever. G. Anyway, what I said earlier. <laughs> Bye, all.